Yeah, fine. South yeah. Africa to toss. Pakistan to cool. Tails. Tails. We'd like to bet first. You still uh, prefer setting the target? Yeah, yeah. we'd like to set the yeah. target. This pitch a little better than the other one, do you think? Yeah, well, uh, it's a bit better. From the last match, the ball was coming up on the bat yeah. perfectly. I mean, the bounce is uh, pretty much okay, the other pitch. Yeah. And uh, you haven't uh, rested any players, so you're, you're trying to get a win up today? Yeah, of course, we are going positive, and yeah. everybody is fit, so I don't have to give any rest to yeah. my players. Thank you, Zach. Good luck today, Thank then. You. Sean, uh, what about this pitch? Yeah, it seems pretty good. Uh, we would also like to have, have had a bet first, but um, it would be nice for us to, to chase tonight and make sure we get off to a good start and then try and score whatever that's at us. Yeah. And your uh, knee, how's that feeling? Yeah, it's feeling a lot better. Um, had a lot of treatment over at the week and uh, hopefully it goes well. Yeah. And you're experimenting a bit uh, in today's game? Yeah, trying to give as many of the squad members a game as we can today. Uh, obviously, we have qualified, but we're also looking to go out and make sure we win the game. So it's not just a matter of rocking up. We're still looking to win the game. All right. Good luck, then. Thank Good you. luck with the captaincy as well. OK, well, uh, Pakistan have won the toss, and Mohan Khan has decided to bat first. Sean Pollock uh, back in the team and captaining South Africa to Imran Nazir. And a good start for Sean Pollock. He's had a lot of work done on his knee. And he wanted to have a bit of a uh, hit out today with the. And he's gone. A poor shot there from uh, Imran Nazir. He really just hung the bat out tentatively. And uh, paying the price. Hanging his bat at that delivery. Ball uh, not doing a great deal, but uh, rocking back and uh, rattling the off stump because of a thickish edge. So reward straight away for Pollock. Gone for not. Imran Nazir and uh, Pakistan. That's a good shot. Charles Willoughby bowling from the pavilion end. And Afridi gets the board ticking over for Pakistan. Big shout there and a wicket to Charles Willoughby. So, good breakthrough for the left armour. And cutting that one. Also was bowled uh, with a bit of uh, pace as well. See him uh, trying to play with an angle back and uh, with the face closed. It's just wide of mid-off. Hit pretty well, but dangerously close to mid-off. And uh, playing it nicely through the line. Went in the air, but was firmly struck and away from the mid-off fieldsman. You see the angle of the ball being bowled across the off stump. That's picked away on the onside. That's firmly struck by Inzamam. Doesn't worry too much about the footwork there. It just picks the length and flicks it nonchalantly over the onside. And he goes for the big one. He's got plenty of elevation here. One bounce over the rope. Well, a bit of an experience here from Willoughby. He wouldn't have bowled to Afridi all that much. So he's got that one two full on the up. Got a lot of elevation, Shai to Afridi. And it's dropped just inside one bounce. A little bit of adjustment to the field now. And also the captain talking to his bowler. He's bowled him here. Look how wide on the crease he is. And he's speared it into leg stump. And as so often happens... And uh, off the edge, steered away, and Pollock for Tinker's curse. Oh, he's given him. He's given him. I thought there might have been a bit of bat in that one. Talking about, you want to give the umpire as long as possible to look at these sort of decisions so he gets to tell whether the ball has hit the inside edge or not. I think he's very unlucky to be given out, even if he hasn't hit it, because of the angle that Klusner bowls at. But all that matters is uh, in the golf news, you'll find. LBW to Kluzner for 17 and the score 60 for 4. In the air and brilliantly taken. A little early there. The ball not there to be driven. Stop checking his stroke, a walking stroke in the end and what a wonderful catch. They were driving full length. That's nicely struck. A desperate effort there on the boundary line by Sean Pollock, but that's not good enough. Well played. 
very well played it was tossed up a little bit outside off stump he doesn't need much encouragement does he Abderazak yes his eyes lit up here he really did toss that one up you see this line that he's been bowling has been towards the middle and middle and leg Oh, and uh, another quick single. Oh, that's all. Oh, yeah, I think he's got him. I think he's got him. That's a direct hit. 45 behind square, and it's always dangerous when you've cut it straight off the bat. And this is good fielding from Lance Klusner. He's got time to take a little bit of aim. He skids it off the, the ground, so it gets a little bit of acceleration. And his boy, is his accuracy good. Razak always struggling, way out. He knew it. He just kept on going. Beautiful throw and a culmination of some very good fielding again from South Africa. They've been on the ball at 96 for six. Meanwhile, Johanna continues to gather singles and that brings up the 100 for Pakistan. Over the top, that's well played. They need a few more of these, Pakistan. Now he's uh, gone over the top. He's hit with the arc. He's just angling it into the left-hander. Gibbs beaten at uh, point. Uh, it's a very good uh, combination there in the outfield. A little bit of swing for him. But it's going to bring four runs for Wazi Macram. Man, a third man was a little too square. Oh, good catch. So Wazim Akram is gone. He's another superb fielder in the South African side, Derek Crooks. And again, timing that dive to perfection. Had his eyes on it all the time. So Wasim Akram is dismissed here. And Pakistan have lost their seventh wicket. He's out for 19, 124 for seven. That's a good shot from Yusuf Johanna. Down the gap. Good batting. Yes, he's been picked. All these are handy runs for Pakistan. At one stage it looked as if uh, they won't even reach 125. Buys wide ball, another wide ball. Oh, that's bowled him. That's bowled him. Well, what an over this has been. Again, the length up to the batsman, and there you see. Vakar looking to play through the onside ball, not spinning. Oh, he hit that one through the offside like a rocket. That's gone to the boundary for four. What a good shot. Yes, if you're high enough. Delivery, that one. Oh, good shot. What played. Cover drive through the offside for four. On the up, what's more. Oh, smashed. Oh, what a good shot. Beautifully played. Big uh, appeal for court behind, and he's walking. Yep, big edge, edge there. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Hayward would have enjoyed that too. And then, uh, well, eventually didn't even have to give him out because it was just a little nick there through to the keeper. You can see how his head swung around. Spontaneous appeal. And uh, he looks down at the umpire as if to say, what I'm going to do, and he's slowly walking backwards. The umpire does nothing. <laughs> he then turns and leaves. Last ball of the over. Oh, he's hit that one beautifully. Forget about the single. One bounce for lovely shot. Straight to the fieldsman again. And oh, I think that well, this might be close. I think he dropped his bat. A close margin. Have a look at this. No bat in his hand. Would have been easier. Looks if he's gone there. Now then. I think he's just got his foot on that line. Yes, I think it's on the line and uh, not over it. Might uh, just get the red light. It's desperately close. Right, so that'd probably be out then. Uh, yes, just on the line. It needed to be uh, needed to be grounded just over the line. Wasn't able to do that. So uh, that's the end of the innings. Use of your harness. Uh, well, little. Uh, little gem of an innings really without him that uh, would be a pretty sorry sight that total unfortunately run out in the last over but 65 of 88 with wickets falling all around him that's, uh, that's not a bad effort
Pakistan, except for Yusuf Yohana, to a certain extent in Zamam al Haq and Shahid Afridi, all really struggle to get going because of wonderful bowling by the South Africans who once again got them all tied up. Oh, Pollock at the top, one for 28. And Willoughby didn't do badly too, two for the nine, 39, being given a chance here today. Hayward two for 35, Klusner as well getting some wickets, so uh, basically they had a good time in the field. Slow delivery, well picked up by Kirsten. He'll get another couple here. Four runs coming off that first over, and that's the score. That's driven through the offside on the up. First boundary of the South African innings. And Herschel gets off the mark. Do it on the up as well. Gee whiz, that's a good shot. Yes, good stride forward. And that's played away, square of the wicket, and will beat the man, a third man. At waste away to the boundary. Again, superb timing. The outfield has quickened up as this tournament has progressed. And you haven't got a lot of room to swing their arms. You've got to use the wrists to generate some bat speed. Again, nicely struck through the offside. A freely in pursuit. Two more runs added to the score. It just looks as if uh, Gary Kirsten is in trouble here. little spasm in his back and that's just come from nowhere he must have turned awkwardly taking the second run fairly crept in when uh, when he got to that non-striker's end and just have a look here and see if we can see what happened yeah, Hansi Kronia there also with the physio of the South African team Craig Smith Nancy Crony acting as 12th man in today's game. And that's not a good sight. And Gary Kirsten in a lot of pain. He leaves the field. Mackenzie will take his place in the center. 22 for no loss. So Wakar Yunus on his way. And a classic shot from Herschel Gibbs. Once again, width from Wakar, and he smashed it to the pound point boundary. Yeah, because the fielding is so good these days. Look at that. Straight through. Not a fielder in sight. There he comes, but he's far too late. That's what good batting's all about. He's getting the angles right off the bat, using the pace of the fast bowler. We do uh, likewise. Big shout there, and he's been given out. What an achievement. 300 one day wickets becoming uh, the second player to get it and there you see that ball nipped back and uh, getting Mackenzie plumb in front of the stumps lovely bowling uh, by Vakar gone for one Neil Mackenzie and South Africa 27 for one in the belt now that's a good start for Mark Boucher and good piece of footwork by Shoad in the deep that's a good shot well played, Herschel Gibbs. Well, that's cleared the infield. Lovely timing again from Gibbs. He's in good form. As South Africa race to 42 for one. There have been uh, some uh, devious circumstances where the batsman uh, came down the pitch and the ball uh, rolled and uh, went to keeper. Imran Nazir in the deep and that little slip cost them a run well this time he goes very hard at it, four more so that's a good shot they have got Herschel Gibbs in very good form Be interesting we've um Oh, good shot, straight over the top of mid off, one bounce for four, that's a beautiful shot. One of the fastest bowlers in the world charging in. Slower delivery, nicely played through the onside field, that's very well done. 
all the way along the ground as well and into the boundary for four on 44 Batcher on strike oh and there's a bouncer and there's a big appeal for court behind and he's given him out given him out too that's a beautiful delivery Yes, yeah, interesting one. I, I suppose the, the question one would ask is, when he hit it, was it shoulder height? Oh, it's clean bowling. That's beautiful bowling. Let's have a look. See that little bit of uh, movement back there? Just beat the outside edge on strike. He's had a few problems with his groin, hasn't he, uh, Shadak? That right, Klusner's on strike. Two slips in position. Tearing away again. Oh, God! Magnificent bowling, Shawadakta. Absolutely spot on target. Once again, the length here is very, very good. I mean, that's the same length that got Dale Benkenstein earlier on. Last ball of the over. In the air, he's got him. Yes, he's got him. Inzamar Malhak has taken the catch. And it was nicely taken. Yeah, he's a very fine slip fielder and going to your left, especially when you're standing at one and a half like he is at the moment. But Moyen just going for a little bit. He did very, very well. Caught it in two hands. Very comfortable catch in the end, but certainly had to move a long way. And this is what makes him so dangerous. Wazi Makram now teaming up with Shoei Bakhtar, 75 for five. Oh, well bowled. Oh, it's gone through the keeper. It's too fast for the batsman, too fast for the wicket keeper. It's four buys. Right up, he's gone. A delivery of full length. Gets the foot across and it's almost planted there, just waiting for the ball to hit. That would have gone down leg side, so that's not a good decision. But nevertheless, he didn't look in any sort of nick at all. And he hit the bat on the toe. That's 50 for Gibbs. It's been a very good knock. Some sizzling shots early on. And he's the one man who's held the South African innings together. The South African camp know that. They go for the single again. He left to hurry. A direct hit. But, uh, softly enough. Time to set himself. And bang, he's well short. Ball in, that's it. That one's definitely gone. Wakar Yunus is having a good series here. He really is. He's cracked his 300 already today. And late in swing, the reverse swing, and uh, Hayward. No footwork. And uh, getting the bat pad, and then the ball hitting the stumps. Gibbs going for it, down the ground he goes, that beats Middorf, that'll be four. I think there's a message in that shot from Gibbs. Oh, that's it, clean ball in, clean ball in, and he stepped away on the onside. That's the end of the South African innings, and Les Kirsten, of course, is going to come out to bat, I doubt that very much. So, Pakistan have put an end to what was a disastrous run. 14 consecutive losses against South Africa and at last they've managed to break that sequence. It goes back to Durban 1994 and this is the ball that finished it off. Yes, uh, hitting the target this time up to Razak and uh, getting uh, the last man out Paul Lickstam. Wonderful work done by the Pakistanis. They really had to win this one to go into the final with a psychological advantage. So it's a very good win. Remember, we had a very, very ordinary record against the South Africans in the last few years. And uh, all those South Africans had played five new players in this game against Pakistan, but winning does matter. And in the end, uh, great win by Pakistan, winning by 67 runs. There's Sean Pollock, captain of the side today. He wouldn't have enjoyed that too much, but a uh, good win. You've got to uh, give credit where credit is due. The team played well today. They were good in the field as well. Pakistan caught their catches today. They hit the wickets with the run-outs. Darbert Meander, they're enjoying it as well. All that experience of his. No doubt a bit of...